What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to the Division 2. Today I want to talk about materials and some tips to farming materials. Now a lot of people use the solar farm which I am at right now. I'll explain that here in just a second. But the first tip I can give you is either farm at night or when it's raining if you can find the time and you have the chance to because this stuff stands out as you can see. It's a lot easier to see these items in the dark or in the rain. The solar farm now is a thing that goes on in East Mall. There are four control points pretty much left to right straight across the map. You can start at the far left, take that control point, and work your way to the far right and just farm the blocks that these control points are in. There's probably, if I had to guess, 50 to 80 material containers and then a lot of loot along the way as well. It could be gear, it could be weapons, whatever the case may be. But the main key to material farming is find a control point, take that control point, go give the guard the materials, you know, food, water, and um, the parts. I usually give 50 to each. That way you will get that kind of vision to be able to see things in the area more easily. These containers will stand out. You'll be able to see them through the walls, on the other side of the wall, other side of a fence. They'll just be a lot brighter and you will know the location and you won't really have to look around as hard. But as you can see in the daylight, it's still not hard, but it's not as easy as it was at night or when it was raining. That's why I prefer to farm at those times. Now, another good thing about farming is you're going to need currency. So you're going to find a lot of loot around, whether it be guns or gear. Um, and you can, if there's not something you need from that, if there's not a talent or a attribute you need off those pieces you get, you can just mark them for junk and sell them. So you're kind of getting a double benefit here. You're either going to get something that's really a great roll or a great weapon or a great piece of gear or has a great thing that you need to take off from one piece to put on another, or you're just able to make straight currency. And that is the thing. If you've played this game a lot, it is designed to be more of an RPG style game. You're going to need material and you're going to need currency. You're going to need to recalibrate a lot. Especially if you play every day, you're going to be finding new stuff to recalibrate. You're going to be finding new stuff just in general. And you're going to need that currency in those materials. Now, you don't necessarily have to go to the solar farm. Yes, it is probably the best source of a large amount of loot and a large amount of materials. But I do this at other control points as well because once you farm in a certain area it's like anything else in the game you have to wait to the next day before you can do it again it does have a reset on it so I have particular places I go farm every single day when I need materials and if you play a lot every day you're going to need materials so make time in your day if you're going to play every day to farm and I promise you you will see the benefit of it you're not going to be having to go out and find something to upgrade or you know or to recalibrate with every time you find a piece of gear that can be very annoying so make sure that you are stocked up at all times but like I said you can go to multiple areas I just suggest you find somewhere that has two or three control points that are pretty close together like I said take the control point give the uh, materials to the guard there and then farm that square that that control point is in for the material you'll have 10 minutes with that vision so if something you know takes a long time to do and you run out of time it is fine you go to the next control point give the materials there you'll get 10 more minutes of that vision to, vision to be able to see those materials anyway guys i hope this helps you out of course if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace